What's going on guys? Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I had a yard sale this weekend and I want to talk about different ways we can get rid of inventory aside from just selling on online platforms like eBay and Mercari and Amazon. So inevitably when we're in this business, we're going to get a lot of excess inventory. A lot of people like to say they have a death pile. A lot of us will get some junk that we put online and we realize that it's not as good as we thought. We continue to lower the price, send offers, promote these listings and they don't sell so what ends up happening is they kind of mud up your ebay store you end up having a lot of these listings that have been listed for an exorbitant amount of time and it just becomes extra effort to manage these listings every time they relist it's like one of your free listings of the month so if you're the type of person that's really counting down those free listings and trying to make the most of them you want to be able to get rid of this stuff in other ways and it just kind of like frees up space for you and frees up this like headache of having to store these items long term that have little to no value anyway. So you get tired of looking at them. So what we're going to talk about is different ways that we can get rid of these items, right? So this past weekend, I had a yard sale. The first day of the yard sale, we made $227. I live in a pretty nice neighborhood to give you an idea of like the area that we live in or the town. The county I live in is 250,000 people. It's a really big county though, so it spans across several towns. But the actual town I live in has about 50,000 people in it. To give you an idea of like the size of my town compared to your town. And uh, we live like kind of on the outskirts of town, but still in town, if that makes any sense. We're not in a rural area. We are just a couple minutes away from like shopping plazas and the main part of town. So um, the first day we had $227 in sales and then the next day we had an additional $210 I believe. It brought our total to like $440. And this was just basically junk. Honestly, I think the most expensive thing I sold at this yard sale was maybe like six or $7. So all those little tiny sales, they add up, you know. I had a bunch of, we had a bunch of clothes from our house, from our kids, um, from some storage unit cleanouts I've done. And from that commercial clean out we did a couple weeks ago, I just put all the clothes out for a dollar each. You know, we probably sold $50, $60 in clothes and the whatever's left, I'm going to go ahead and donate. But we'll get to that in a minute. And then I have a bunch of DVDs, which are like really hard to sell on eBay unless you have a super large lot or unless you have these like really desirable DVDs to list DVDs on eBay individually is an extreme waste of time. I would not recommend that. Unless you're checking up sold comps or you have sealed Disney DVDs or, you know, DVDs you could sell for like 15, 20, 25, $30 each because I see a lot of people selling DVDs on eBay for like $4.99 free shipping. That's, an, that's just a waste of time, a complete waste of time. It's so much better to get a dollar at your yard sale, get rid of it, then list it on eBay for $5 free shipping and you'll be lucky to net a dollar. I just don't understand why people even waste their time with stuff like that. But anyway, so... Obviously, the most obvious way to get rid of some old stock or junky stuff or dead inventory is to have a yard sale. Well, a lot of times we have these kind of items that are worth like $30, $40, $50, and you're not going to get that at the yard sale, right? You're probably going to have to sell that item for like 15 bucks to get it out of your life. So I like to use other avenues to get rid of stuff besides just yard sales because you don't want to put your good stuff out at yard sales necessarily and then be forced to give it away. Every once in a while, the right buyer will come along and they'll give you what you want for that item, but a lot of times they won't. So then you'll still be stuck with it after. So another way I get rid of stuff, and I made a video about this in the past, is there's a local online auction house. Um, they just run online auctions. They don't even have a physical location to like have sit down live auctions at. It's all like an online deal. So I teamed up with the owner of the business. I, I shop on his online platform a lot so inevitably i see him at the pickups when i'm going to pick up my stuff so i just kind of got a relationship with the guy i told him hey i got a bunch of stuff i might want to have one of these auctions one day what do i need to do and then he told me hey you know you can i'll make you an admin on the site you can run your own auctions take your own pictures make your own descriptions and i just get 20 percent and i was like okay that's great so the first time i did it i put in i had a lot of stuff because i did some storage unit cleanouts so I just had a bunch of tools and a bunch of like just junky stuff. And I mean, I, mean, I won't say junky. A lot of it was actually pretty good, but it was overwhelming with the amount of stuff I just had laying around. So this was like the perfect outlet because when I go on this site, 
Um, I can make these these auctions like 250, 300 lots, and then I'll, I'll schedule them for like two months out to give me plenty of time to make the listings, take the pictures, make the descriptions, work on stuff like that, get the thing going. And then what I'll do is I'll take my old eBay listings that haven't been moving or I've lowered the prices a bunch of times and sent out offers, promoted, tried everything I know that I can do to liquidate these items. And they're still sitting out here, you know, after seven, eight months, a year, 15 months. Some of these items have been listed well over a year. And with the online auction, everything starts at $5. So basically I'll have like a 99% sell through rate and I'll be able to get rid of this stuff. And I tend to get more for them, for the items than I do at a yard sale. So that's been like the best way to get rid of a lot of stuff at one time for me. So what I would recommend is if you can start looking around your area for local auctions, which are a great way to source, by the way, if you should definitely explore the option to go to auctions and buy stuff to sell on eBay. But alternatively, you should also um, look at these as options to liquidate inventory. If you go to any local auction house, most of them work on consignment. So what they do is they'll have estates or something like that, that bring the stuff in and say, hey, we need you to sell this for us. Or, hey, my dad died and we have this whole shed full of tools we need to get rid of. So then the auction house brings the stuff in, they sell it off, they take their cut, and then they cut you a check on the back end. So if you have all this dead stock inventory, a lot of stuff that you've gone through and you wanna get rid of, Go ahead and start contacting these local auction houses and um, see if they'll work with you. See what kind of um, fees they take. Like I said, the guy that I work with, he has a flat fee of 20%, which actually works out great because the very first one I had, we sold a little over $8,000. It was like 300 lots. I was really I was really surprised and I ended up getting a check for like $6,300 or something. So it worked out tremendously. The last one I had was in the summertime, which is a little bit slower around here. So I think, and maybe maybe the items I had weren't as good, and a couple of people didn't pay for their stuff. So I ended up totaling about fifty five hundred dollars or something, and then you know after the fees, I got a a check or a, like a little over four grand that time. And now we're running another auction, and I'll I'll keep you guys in the loop with that. And after it sells and everything, I'll let you guys know how that works out. This one's gonna have two hundred fifty lots, but I'm trying something a little different this time. I'm trying to put some really good stuff in this auction to see what kind of traction it gets because I know when I go on that site, if the auction has a lot of good stuff, I'll participate and I'll bid. If I scroll through and it looks like a bunch of junk or leftovers or just garbage, then I won't bid. I won't participate in that auction. So I know by me having like a better quality auction this time that maybe my results will be better, but we'll find out. And then lastly, what you're going to want to consider is after you have a yard sale, you're going to have a lot of leftover stuff. So if you have this stuff that hasn't sold on eBay and then now it hasn't sold at a yard sale, inevitably it's best to either lot that stuff up and put it in a live auction, like I said. But if it's really just janky garbage, then the best thing to do is donate it. There's a local thrift store in my area. All the funds go to our local no-kill animal shelter. So I like to donate stuff to them because it goes to a good cause. I know there's a lot of church thrift stores that will use the money for mission trips and um, just things within the church. So that's another good option. Donate your stuff to a store like that. I do not recommend donating your stuff to Goodwill where it's just this major corporation where only maybe like three or four percent of the revenue that they get actually goes to a worthy cause. Um, so I would re definitely recommend looking for those small like mom and pop thrift stores or thrift stores that actually are raising money for a good cause. That'll make you feel a lot better about dropping your stuff off and donating it. And it's just uh, something good. You know, it's a good thing for them. And it's a good thing for you to get this stuff out of your life. So basically between yard sales, running online auctions or dropping stuff off at live auctions, and then selling your stuff on eBay and Mercari, you should be able to get rid of almost everything you get. You just want to use these three avenues to just liquidate inventory. You don't want to have a buildup of dead stock or just stuff you haven't listed yet or stuff that's been at your warehouse listed on eBay for years. Just 
find another way to get rid of it, you know? Even if you break even or lose a few bucks, at least you're getting some capital back to reinvest in good, solid, fast selling items. It's like a cleanse for your store. It's a cleanse for your well-being. It's a cleanse for whatever space you're using, whether it be your garage, your spare bedroom, your warehouse. So I could go on and on about the importance of liquidating these old items that are just becoming like clutter in your life, right? We need to declutter. So I do this a couple times a year, about two times a year. I'll have a big yard sale. I'll run one of these auctions and then I'll take donations. Between those three things, it just cleans out so much of my warehouse. I get a bunch of shelf space back where I can go to auctions and yard sales and estate sales and thrift stores and find really good quality inventory reinvest that money into stuff that's going to make me a lot more money and not just sit out here and take up space. So I hope you found this video helpful. I really wanted to like, you know, bring you guys along with the yard sale, take some video at the yard sale and then, you know, make my intro before and kind of like keep you guys going with the timeline. But it was just a really hectic week, a really busy weekend with the yard sale. But we did make 440 bucks, like I said before. That money is going to go towards our vacation fund because we got a couple of vacations planned this year. So that's just huge. That's a bunch of gas, a bunch of food, and some fun times for our trip. And if you don't need the money for something leisurely like that, it's definitely helpful to just put it back in your business or, you know, do buy some new things around your house. You know, there's a million ways that you could spend the money. That's completely up to you. I'm not going to tell you how to manage your funds, but. I just wanted to share this information with you guys. I hope you found something helpful here about ways to manage your inventory and get rid of some old dead stock or stuff you've had laying around for a while. But I'm working on another video, so I'll be dropping that in a few days. Until next time, peace.